So first I'm going in and I'm just cleaning her face with some e.l.f. toner. Um, I really like to do this on all my clients because most people come in with their face already moisturized and I feel like I put moisturizer and primer on top of that and I don't like for their face to be so greasy so I just clean all of that off. Um, and then now I'm going in with some matte, um, just some matte primer around her T-zone um, and on her forehead. Also, y'all, I'm at work trying to do this voiceover because I just want to get this video out there. Um, and also, every product will be listed in the description due to me having all of my makeup at my suite. So everything will be listed in the description. So now I'll be going in with some um, duo lash glue. You really can use any lash glue, but I like to put lash glue on the eyebrows and then you'll see me spooling the eyebrows up. Also, y'all, I don't know why I feel like I got to use a doctor voice when I'm doing my voiceover because I just feel like I got to sound so damn professional. But I'll be brushing her brows into place and I like to do natural brows. So I just brush these brow her their natural brow hairs up. Okay, so now I'm going to start off by underlining her a natural eyebrow shape with concealer. And as you can see, it's like two shades lighter than her. Um, it's more yellow because she has a golden undertone. Um, and this is also the same concealer shades. This is a mixture. This, these are also the same shades I'll be using to highlight her face. You know, I be I be wanting those colors to match. I don't want it to be like dumb light on the eyes and then different tone on the face. I want those colors to match. And then you'll see me blending the eyes out. Um, I don't like to put shadow on a wet concealer lid, so we'll we'll be blending that out and then setting that with powder. Okay, y'all, pay attention to the way I'm holding my brush when I do this because this took me forever to learn how to do. You know, I'm not left-handed, obviously. So it took me a minute to learn how to get a straight, nice arch brow underline with my left hand. So then I'm going and I'm blending it out in the middle, you know. I'm a visual learner. I like hands-on too, but I could learn by just watching somebody doing something, you know. I don't feel like y'all need me to tell y'all when I'm blending. You know, if you wanna if you want me to say the motions, then of course I could do that. But y'all obviously see where I'm blending everything out at. How much I'ma spend profiling She come in and compliment my closet Fuck her on the floor like I don't give a fuck about it You judge me, get cloudy okay y'all so i'll be taking a mixture of a brown and maroon shade this is like where the jade away to ari inspired comes in okay so i'm patting the eyeshadow shade on her lid and then i'm brushing it like towards her eyebrow because when i go to contour her nose i push the contour shade the cream and the powder into the eyebrows that way it gives a natural contour look and you know everything not just sitting there it's not two lines you know um, so I'm just darkening up that shade on her eyelid and then I don't like to go like you, it kind of looks like a V. Um, I like to blend it outwards, but I don't like to go up into the eyebrow. I hate when eyeshadow is too close to the eyebrow. That just looks so patchy and unblended to me. So now I'll be doing the other eye. Um, and again, I'm, as you can see, obviously I'm trying to make it darker. I want it to be, I don't, I don't like when it's like, um, again, patchy. I don't like when you can see through the eyeshadow. That's not cute to me. Everybody talking about, 
everybody talking about I'm gonna be shit I'm just talking me shit You know me? You know me? I gave it all for fantasy Is anybody gonna remember me? If I go tonight, I doubt the world will change I just pray they don't forget my name Cause the game rules okay so y'all i had to zoom in for this for one i hate dirty eyelashes y'all when the powder be on there all that and it look dusty i don't like that i'm not a fan but um i wanted to give her a pop so i'm putting this purple eyeliner from nyx on her um eyelid and then i'm putting silver on top and i'm not gonna lie i'm not a fan of that eyeliner it's giving it don't want to goddamn dry on their eyelids you gonna see she gonna look up she thought it was dry, which I would have too, goddamn, as long as she had to keep her eyes closed. But she going to look up and it's going to transfer. And then at towards the end, y'all going to see how I fixed all of that. But yeah, so I'm just putting a shiny silver on top because she was wearing like an iridescent white. So I thought that was a cute pop. And then her hair was like purple. It really looked blue on camera, but her hair was really purplish, purplish blue. Does everybody see me? Throw some blunts and hit her once and now she need me Her nigga wanna be me yeah, But they don't know if I Okay, so boom, boom, this is my favorite part Now, as you can see, I put a shade that was a little darker than her face I like to match their neck to their chest where their collarbone is But you gonna see I put a lighter shade on there to mix it, of course You know, it's really rare that you ever find a foundation shade that's just the perfect skin tone but honestly, y'all, I think all Fenty shades match their desired person perfect. Like, I, I feel like Fenty is a very strong brand. You see, y'all, that's where the um she looked up and got it on her lid or whatever. But anything is fixable. So, yeah, I'm blending it out with the Instapop face brush. Y'all, that's my favorite brush. All of my one-on-one -on -one classes come with that brush. Like, that's my favorite brush, y'all. Okay, so when I get around her lace, oh, and that lace was late, okay? But when I get around her lace, I'm going to be using a beauty blender because I don't like to play with nobody. That's hard-earned money, y'all. I don't like to play about that lace. I just pray they don't forget my name. Cause the game rules I can't lose. When it's all said and done, will I still be cool? Spent like money. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. Okay, y'all. I honestly feel like there's no way you can really mess up somebody's face with concealer. For one, concealer is the most important part about makeup. I'm going to be putting three shades just because I wanted to match everything. And then it's also the same uh, mixture I use for her eyebrows. But you really can't mess up concealer because you can mix them. You can build them up. You can change the color. You can make their face match their neck with concealer. Like, concealer is the most important part of makeup. I tell all my people that. So then I'm going, um, I kind of want to say draw the, okay, for the contour shade, for one, it can't be too dark. If it's too dark, that's where you messing concealer up. But I'm drawing like a line kind of pointing towards her nose. Just make sure it's above her lip. And then when you blend it out, you obviously you patting it and then blending it back into towards the ear. Like you stay on the cheek, like when they smile, you stay in that area, but you make sure it goes back towards the ear. Okay, y'all. So here concealer come to save the day. Now, as you can see, I put that contour way too far down. Again, concealer about to come save the day. When I blend, I start at the bottom and then I work my way up to the top. And then you always want to be light because you don't ever want to waste your product. I don't know about y'all, but makeup so damn is that makeup you pulling my pockets inside out. I just ain't got time to be wasting my product. And I like for my clients' faces to be perfect. Like, if it's one thing, I never have their face cakey, but I will put concealer on, okay? So again, blending from the bottom and then working my way up. Also, um, you're going to see that I zoomed in, zoomed extra in, and then zoomed back out on some of these parts of this video because my big old head was in the way and I didn't want my head to be in the way. So now we're going back in with the contour brush we use to blend everything out. 
Um, we just gonna be going back and forth with the foundation brush, the contour brush, and the beauty blender just to make everything seamlessly blend together. Oh, and when I say we're going back in with these brushes, y'all, I do not mean with extra product. The same product that was on there, when you blend in something, you don't want to add more. You want to work with what's already on there, and then if need be, you add more. So this is where the magic happens. You use one of those shades. You could use a mixture, but I use one of the shades, obviously the darker shade. Um, and I underline like a U going up towards her lip. I don't remember what makeup artist I seen do this, but girl, it changed my game. I don't like that harsh contour look. I like a natural skin-like contour, but you know, you want to still give cheekbones and that little U shape with the concealer definitely gives cheekbones. So again, going back in with that same brush with no extra product on it, and then everything just gonna blend together. More concealer, of course, because concealer saves the day. Her nigga want a baby, yeah, but they don't know I'm fighting demons. I feel like dying every season. I've been swimming in the deep. Okay, so now I'm using the same contour shade that I used on the side of her cheeks. I'm putting that on the side of her nose, and then make sure you pay attention to how I blend it up into her eyebrows like I was telling y'all. And I have a habit of my clients. Our conversation be so juicy. As y'all can see, this conversation was good. But our conversations be so juicy that they forget that I'm telling them, please stay looking up. Okay, y'all. Now, watch how I'm blending this nose. It's going straight into the, you see, boom, pow, straight into the eyebrows. And it just looks so good. Like, that's my favorite part. And then I always want to make sure I have my highlighted line in the middle of the nose. And you kind of pinching your beauty blender while you're blending it out with the slightest taps. You don't want to mess this up because then you just put way too much product on their nose. And then their nose starts to look cakey. I just pray they don't forget my name. Cause the game rules I can't lose When it's all said and done Will I still be cool? Spent like 10,000 20,000 30,000 40,000 How much I'ma spend profiling She come in and compliment my closet Okay, so now I'm going back to blend out the inner parts of her under eye because we're getting ready to set it. Now, I can tell you off bat, I used shea butter. Oh, I already lied. I used a yellow powder. It's going to be in the description with RCMA. Now, y'all, I use RCMA on everybody. Okay, trick to when you set in the under eye and when you set in the face with loose powder. You get some of the powder on the beauty blender and you dab it on your hand or you shake it off, but you make sure you shake the excess off. You never go straight in with powder. And then you always start at the bottom and work your way up to set it under the eye so it don't look patchy. Y'all see how it's giving face? When you set that face and it don't give face, erase the whole face, baby girl. So then the only part that I like to quote unquote bake at is on the bridge of the nose, which I'm not sure if I did it right here. And then those two areas underneath the contour. But as you can see, I'm not drawing a full line. I'm just leaving it at the end. Okay, y'all, so now I'm contouring the nose with the same shade I used on the side of her face. And I can tell you off bat, that's AR Rich morphe palette i love that palette y'all and look giving snatch nose that nose looks so good okay blush you gotta have blush the girlies love blush they don't even know that they like blush how they like blush everybody talking about okay y'all so a trick to put in the eyeliner on the bottom water lid use a q-tip it's so quick easy and you don't have to continue cleaning a brush i don't like to touch people's eyes with the same brush like every time I do makeup, that brushes be clean. I don't play that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And when their eyes get to water on y'all, have them like breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. It helps a lot because you know that little tear dust catch a water thing we got in our eye. Okay, so now we on the brows. Boom. Um, this I can't even really explain, y'all. You just gotta pay attention. I love how I learned this technique. I don't know where I learned it, but I love it. It works for every single person I do. I used to struggle so bad with eyebrows, but it just gives natural snatched pum pow pain eyebrows. They look so good. Wish I'd stop smiling. 
Okay, after putting those hair-like strokes at the front of the eyebrow, I'm going in with the foundation brush and I'm setting or pressing in that powder that I was quote-unquote baking with on the side of her face. I, it still leaves the mark that, you know, we initiated right there, but it makes it look more skin-like. You know, it's not just powder sitting right there because who likes that? That's not cute. Um, and I'm just finishing up drawing a tail on the side of her eyebrows and completing her little arch. Her eyebrows really was so cute, y'all. And then I feel like the way I did them, it just brought the face together times 10. I feel like dying every season. I've been swimming in the deep end. All my bitches know I'm leaving at some point. Whether there's a reason or not. I'm tired giving me reasons to stop. Okay, y'all, so fun fact, set in the face gives that skin-like look. Okay, so you also have to make sure you press in that setting mist in because if not, it'll leave those driplets on their face, and that's not cute. Is anybody gonna remember me? If I go tonight, I doubt the world will change. I just pray they don't forget my name. Cause the game rules I can't lose When it's all said and done, will I still be cool? Spent like 10,000 20,000 30,000 40,000 How much I'ma spend profiling? She come in and compliment my closet Fuck her on the floor like I don't give a fuck about it Your judgment get clouded when you cloud it my opposition wish I'd stop smiling. Okay, y'all, so I don't do this on every client, but most of them I'm using concealer for their lips, and it worked perfectly fine for me. I mean, I've seen a few MUAs trash talk it, but it worked perfectly fine for me. I've never had no bad complaints. I use it on myself. My face don't break out, and my skin is sensitive as hell. Um, so, yeah, sometimes I set it when I line their lips with it, and sometimes I just leave it as is because... I feel like everybody likes a glossy lip. Um, so I'm using a brown shade by Juvia's, which will be in the description along with everything else. And then I'm using a just very white opaque shade. I really don't know where that one is from, but you can dupe it with any light skin tone shade. You're just putting a little bit and then, girl, y'all, this new lip just was giving Beyonce fierce, Sasha fierce. It was just giving. Try giving me reasons to stop. That shit definitely go. Gotta get it how you live, you know? Everybody talking about yeah. R&B shit. I'm just talking me shit. I gave it all for fantasy Is anybody gonna remember me? If I go tonight, I doubt the world will change I just pray they don't forget my name Cause the game rules I can't lose When it's all said and done, will I still be cool? Spent like money 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 How much I'ma spend profiling She come in and compliment my closet Fuck her on the floor like I don't give a fuck about it Your judgment get cloudy when you cloudy My opposition wish I'd stop smiling My family wish I'd stop wilding I'm still on the east side smoking with my OG Cause they the only ones that really know me Y'all, when I put that gloss on top of that lip combo, I almost fell out. She looks so freaking good for her birthday, y'all. I wonder who did her makeup. But nah, that, that lip combo with that gloss, fuego, for real. Like, everything went with her skin. Everything looks so good with her skin. Her nigga wanna be me, yeah, but 
They don't know I'm fighting demons I feel like dying every season I'm ready.